The Canadian Rockies cut straight through Western Canada, creating some of the most awe-inspiring landscape imaginable. And today on Awesome Planet, we've come to Alberta, Canada to explore two truly majestic national parks. This is nature at its finest, with amazing wildlife and magnificent glaciers. Woo! That would be a wild ride if I did go down, it'd be my last. Join me, Philippe Cousteau, as we explore the pure wonders of the Canadian Rockies on Exploration Awesome Planet. Welcome to Awesome Planet, I'm Philippe Cousteau. Banff National Park covers 2,500 square miles of spectacular landscape in Alberta, Canada. And right at the center of it lies a pristine lake that people from all over the world travel to visit. High up in the Canadian Rockies, there's a stately resort called the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. It sits on the shoreline of this gorgeous emerald green lake. Lake Louise is like a well-placed jewel amidst the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> oh, look at you. Now this is the view. Yeah. You were not kidding, my goodness gracious. This is all right if you like that sort of thing. Where does all this water come from? Uh, this is glacier fed uh, by six different glaciers, but pri primarily by one called the Lower Victoria Glacier. Mm -hmm. And where, where, can we see that from here? We can see two of the primary glaciers here. You can see the Upper Victoria Glacier hanging uh -huh. on the cliffs and drop straight down. You see what looks like a flat, dirty gravel pile coming at us. Mm -hmm. That's the Lower Victoria Glacier. And underneath that dirt is probably 600 feet of ice. Wow. And all that water comes down into yes. here, Lake Louise. Yeah. Wow. So do we, are we going to have an opportunity to actually get out on the lake? I think you haven't visited Lake Louise till you canoe on Lake Louise. That well, lead the way then. I'm Let's excited. Go. I'm thrilled. Fantastic. And we're moving. Look and at that. We're on the lake. Oh yeah, it's so nice on the lake today. Hardly a ripple on this thing. It is a spectacular sight. Lake Louise's fame stretches back over a hundred years. What distinguishes the lake is its unusual color, which is due to glacier melt. Glaciers only melt in, in the summer and they bring in tons of uh, what looks like chocolate milk. Hmm. It's called rock flour. It's formed underneath the glaciers. And it deposits that in these lakes and as sunlight tries to go through the silt, all the colors of the spectrum are refracted or absorbed except this one. Located in the province of Alberta, Banff was the first national park in Canada. Besides canoeing on Lake Louise, it's also a popular destination for mountain climbers. And some of the majestic glaciers are accessible to the public. Unfortunately, these glaciers may not be around much longer. There's a lot of concern about how fast these glaciers are melting yeah, and receding. And, and glaciers come and go. There are cycles to glaciation. Mm -hmm. But the glaciers here in the Canadian Rockies are pulling back anywhere from you know, 20 to 50 feet, depending on the season. So right now, the glaciers seem to be melting very quickly here. That's really interesting. Yeah. And the thing about the Canadian Rockies is that we're the watering can of the breadbasket of Canada. We, in melting snow and ice, water the prairies from here and grow a lot of wheat, more wheat than we can eat in this country, so we ship it out. So eventually, if the glaciers recede to a point that there is, they can't replace that, then rivers like the Bow River, which a million and a half Albertans rely on, might become somewhat uh, drier in the summer. And that's right? a problem. And that could be a potential problem. We need water. Yeah, we need water. Looming above Lake Louise is Mount Victoria, it's named after Queen Victoria, who reigned over the British Empire during the 1800s. And the lake was named after the fourth daughter of the queen, Princess Louise Caroline Alberta. Ever since this national park was established in 1885, its natural beauty has been largely preserved. 
Here's the thing about the Canadian Rockies that is really one of the most amazing things about the place, is that there are seven parks here all tied together, not just one. There's Banff, Jasper, Yoho, Kootenai, Robson, Hamber, and Assiniboine. Goodness. If you add it up, it's the second largest protected mountain landscape on Earth, right here. Well, there's no question that this whole area is special yes. to the planet, seeing it like this for the first time. And for us, this is just the beginning. Seeing this place is a taste of what's to come, and I, for one, can't wait. Coming up, we'll travel to Jasper National Park and get an up-close look at this fantastic glacier. Woo! It's absolutely spectacular. <laughs> 